Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and Assalamu alaikum students. This is me Sumaira Chandani and I welcome you all in today's video. I hope you all are fine and taking good care of yourselves, taking good care of your health and of course staying indoors. You have been recently promoted from grade 1 to grade 2. So here I am going to congratulate all of you for having a new class, for being promoted to the new class. So huge congratulations to all the students who are promoted to grade 2. And let me tell you, I am your English teacher and I will be teaching you English in this class. And I am sure you are going to enjoy all the activities, all the videos, all the worksheets with me and there is going to be pretty fun. Alright, what I have brought for you today, what is the topic of this video? Let's go to that, let's move on. Uh, the topic that I have chosen for today's video, for today's lesson is adjectives. You have already done adjectives in your previous class. So here I am going to elaborate it. What is an adjective? You all know about adjectives, but most of you must have forgotten about it. So let's see what is an adjective. At the end of this video, you will be able to know about adjectives and you will be able to give examples of adjectives. So here we go. Now, on the top of the screen, you can see what is an adjective. So an adjective is a describing word that means it describes something now what does it describe a, an adjective tells about a noun or pronoun you all know what is noun it is the name of person place animal or thing and pronoun is a word like he she it you we which are used instead of noun you have done both the things in your previous class, nouns and pronouns. So, an adjective is a word that tells us about a noun. Now, let's go for the examples. The turkey was resting on the orange pumpkin. In this picture, you can see there is a bird. And where is it resting? on the orange pumpkin. Now you must be thinking orange is a color. Yes, colors are also adjectives. It is describing the noun pumpkin. What is the color of pumpkin? Is it red? No. Is it green? No, it's orange. So pumpkin is a noun here and the word that describes this pumpkin is an adjective orange. So, in the bottom screen you can see what kind, which one and how many. Just now we talked about the color that colors are also adjectives and numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, I have 3 shirts, I have 4 balloons. These are also adjectives. Numbers are also adjectives. I hope it's quite clear to you so far. Should we move on? All right. Now here, I have three categories here. Short adjectives, adjectives of two or more syllables. Short adjectives consist of one or two syllables like long, short, tasty, happy, clever. But those adjectives 
which are with two or more syllables are like beautiful, interesting, difficult, having two or more syllables. Now, irregular forms of adjectives are also there like good, bad. So, I repeat and children please repeat after me short adjectives, adjectives of two or more syllables and irregular forms. Long, short, tasty, happy, clever, beautiful, interesting, difficult, good, bad. Can you use these adjectives in your sentences? Yes, why not? You can make a good sentence of tasty. My mother makes tasty food. I am pretty happy today. Fox is a clever animal. She has long hair. Beautiful. My work is always beautiful. That is an interesting story. That's a difficult question. Wow. It's a good habit. So, things like that. Anything that tells us about noun or pronoun is an adjective. Now here, we have the foot of a baby. Now foot is noun. The word that tells us about foot is tiny. So tiny is an adjective. And adjectives that tell about size. It is telling us about the size of the foot. It's a tiny foot. It's not a big foot. It's a tiny foot. So tiny is telling us about the size. So adjectives tells us tell us about size as well. Now opposite words like in this picture you can see a witch is there, a fairy is there, which is bad. And the fairy is good. So bad and good. These are the opposite words. Now, just look at yourself. Look at your hair. Look at your eyes. Look at your height. Look at your complexion. Look at the color of your hair. And start describing yourself. You will need lots of adjectives. To describe yourself. You can't describe yourself without any adjective. You are a noun. You are a person. But when you are describing yourself or even someone else, even if you describe me, your teacher, your mother, your father, you need adjectives. Got it children? It's pretty fun to learn adjectives. Am I right? So, now Describing clothes. Now let's see the order of adjectives. Size or the length in which you can talk about long, you can say short, then the color, the shade is the same thing and then talk about the style, it's baggy, then the material, is it made of cotton, lawn, leather and then you will use the noun. Is it a top or the combat trousers? And preposition with noun with a hood. It is with a hood. That also describes. Now let's see what you have learned so far. Are you ready kids? Should I start? Hmm. Alright. Here I have question number one for you. It's a bright sunny day. What is the adjective used in the sentence? Yes, the day is bright and sunny. So, we have adjectives here, bright and sunny. Now, what kind, already discussed, what kind of, how many these are also tell us about these also tell us about adjectives so today is a warm day what kind of day what sort of day is it it's a warm day it's cold day it's a warm day with hundreds of birds chirping in the clear blue sky 
how many birds are there in the sky there are hundreds of birds so the number hundred is also an adjective how many what kind now what kind of sky is it is it cloudy it's clear blue sky it tells us about the sky what kind of sky it is now in this picture you can see there are two dogs are you a dog lover all right even if you are not just observe this picture say something about these dogs can you compare these two dogs one is tall and the other one is short you can see clearly through this picture so you can use lots of adjectives to describe you can talk about the uh, fur of on their body you can talk about their eyes you can talk about their height you can talk about their diet so many such things to describe and to compare these two dogs thank you children thank you so much for listening to me for watching this video and see you next time till then take care allah hafiz and don't forget to revise adjectives all right